Now, Friends of Noise is a nonprofit organization meeting young people where they are by facilitating opportunities for immersion into safer arts communities while uplifting BIPOC and LGBTQIA plus youth voices. And you can catch them this year at the Waterfront Blues Festival. But first, we are learning all about them right now. And helping us do that this morning is Executive Director of Friends of Noise, Andre Middleton. Andre, thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Ashley. Thank you for having me. No problem. Tell me more about Friends of Noise, because this sounds like it, it, it's so amazing and it almost correlates into kind of our our field and, and giving young people opportunities in front, behind the camera with with instruments. Tell me all about it. Well, first, I can't I can't do more than thank the folks at the Waterfront Blues Festival for having us this year. Yeah. We're actually going to get to curate four individual youth bands to actually perform on the Crossroads stage here at this year's Waterfront Blues Festival. Wow. So what we do basically is that we give young people opportunities to perform on stage and backstage because most kids can't go to clubs because of the alcohol. Right. So we try and create safer spaces where kids are performing, they're writing their own music, they're performing music, and we actually have a crew of our Sound Squad Supreme crew that are actually sound engineers that are mixing shows, setting up lights, doing all the sound. So really are trying to make an ecosystem that is welcoming to kids even though they're not old enough to drink yet. I love that because sometimes I think we do get lost in so who, whoever's going to perform, do you have this kind of talent? Do you have that kind of talent? But nothing happens without the people behind the stage. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And we are a jobs program where we are paying young people living wages to run sound, to do video production, to do graphic art and design. Wow. In fact, the teenagers designed this brochure that I'm going to give you right now. Oh, I like they that. Did, they Let's did get... all the design work. Um, we have youth photographers. So there's, we have actually have had a lot of adults say, hey, we'd love to volunteer for friends of noise and I say you know I'd rather pay a teenager to do what you'd rather do for free yeah. so I'm really excited about the opportunities this is so awesome so can you give us a little sneak peek on who we might see at oh, the, boy, at the boy. we've got four great bands um, the first band you're probably going to see is the band called the PDX Jazz Collective I've been working with some of these teens since they were 15 years old and now they're all at PSU um, then there's Jack 10 then there's the Earl Gracious band and then Bridge City um, Quartet which oh. is the bunch and people that came all the way out from Mount Hood Community College. So we're going to be covering jazz and blues, a little yeah. R&B from across the region. Okay, I was just about to say, because it sounds like we're getting uh, a variety. Oh, yeah, let's zoom in on that. <laughs> it sounds like we're going to be getting a variety of vibes. We, we love the good vibes. <laughs> I, that is so amazing. How can someone become part of Friends of Noise? Well, God, visit our website at www.friendsofnoise.org. We've got a pretty um, bopping Instagram page. You can see a lot of photographs and video of the work that we could do. But really, this weekend, just come down to the Waterfront Blues Festival. Yes. We're going to be at the Crossroads stage. We're going to have information booth. We're going to be selling some T-shirts and raffling off stuff. So it's going to be a great weekend, a lot of fun. And like I said, I can't thank the crew at um, Christine Fuller Events and the Waterfront Blues Festival for having us. The kids are excited. We're excited. And hopefully you're excited as well. Absolutely. That's perfect that you guys are going to have an information booth. And I was just about to ask you how the kids are feeling about because a lot of people turn out at the blues fest that yet yeah, last year was my first year going so i can only imagine the excitement but also the nerves that they're going to feel what time can we catch the first we're going to be there from three to four okay. on sunday and tuesday okay but actually we'll be there i'll be there every day of the i'll be there every day at the information booth yes but if you want to catch our musicians three to four on um, sunday and tuesday would be great I love it. I'm going to go ahead and say those are the most important days. Make sure, you, <laughs> make sure you get out to see the kids. Thank you so much, Andre, for being here. Actually, thank you for having us. I really no appreciate problem. it.